This is the plate of Walter Kapakowski III. He says he towed a crashed car at the police department's request, and the defendant refuses to pay for the tow and the storage fees, and she hasn't picked up the car yet. She's a mean, vile woman who owes him $3,672.20, and he's happy to have his day in court and to be suing her. This is the defendant, Lucinda Hamilton. She says the plaintiff waited all week to inform her he had her car. She told him to junk the thing. For some reason, he didn't. Now, he wants almost four grand in storage fees? <laughs> nice try, buddy. Bottom line, he's a scammer, trying to rack up huge storage fees, and she owes nothing. She's accused of being irresponsible. All parties, please use your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been told, Your Honor. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome. Man. Okay, we're gonna do something a little unusual here because we normally start with the side that brought the lawsuit, but I wanna talk to you. What is your name? Cache Hamilton. Okay, Cache. And it all started with you, correct? <laughs> what happened that, it was, when did this happen, at night, 6 a.m.? Um, yes, I believe so. Really early. So what were you doing? You were coming home from somewhere? Yes. So you've been out all night? Somewhat. I was just coming from a family member's house. Okay, but you hadn't been to sleep is, I guess, what I mean. Oh, yes. Right, okay. So you're driving, and what happens? Um, someone hit me and kept going, so I ended up crashing into another car. You crash into a parked car that then crashed into the parked car in front of it, or several cars were affected, right? Um, just one. No, two. Was it? The car Yeah. Died. There were a couple. Okay. Two. Anyway, so okay. what happens? You call the police? What happened? Um, after the, the people who came out the house can't call the police and just sat there and waited till they came in. Okay. Now, fun. how old are you? 23. Did you have a license? Um, no. Why were you driving? Because I needed to get home. Yeah, but why didn't you have a license? Um, well, had it been suspended? Or? Yes, they're suspended. Oh, and how did it get suspended? Um... You want me to look it up or you want to be honest? Sure. Nah, I don't want to look it up. Tell me the truth. I don't even remember how they got suspended. You don't remember how your license got suspended originally? I think it was a speeding ticket that I didn't pay for, and then it just okay. adds up. <laughs> um, so did you know she had a suspended license? No. The car is registered in your name. I know you think it isn't, but it is, because we just checked it. So the car is registered in your name. It's registered in my name. Yeah, you f and that's how he knew where to write you when it got towed pursuant to the police order. Now, as it turned out, Cache, you also had warrants out for you. Mm -hmm. For what, not showing up to court? Um, for not taking um, drug and alcohol class, but I uh -huh. didn't know I had a warrant at the time. Right, but you knew you had to take the drug and alcohol class. Right. And you knew you didn't take the drug and alcohol class. Right. So what did you think was gonna happen, that it was all gonna evaporate? So you should have expected that you had warrants. Did you know that she was supposed to do some drug and alcohol thing? Mm-hmm, yeah. And did you know she wasn't doing it? No, she didn't have the money to take the course. Then you go back to the court yeah. and you try to figure something out. You don't just ignore the court, right? Yeah. Correct. Right, because then we have these problems, right? So she ended up, they ended up arresting her. Correct. And how long did she spend in jail? Um, I bonded her out the next day. Okay, that's why you know, you go back to the court and you say, I have a problem, this is my problem, whatever. But if you knew all that, why is your 99 what? Is a 99 what? Century Buick. In her hands. Oh, she was using it to go to work. No, I, t I <laughs> She wasn't supposed to be um, out late night like that. Right. It was just for her to get back and forth to work. Does she live with you or no? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now you get called by the police because you're on the police roster of people to call when there is a police matter, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yep. And you tow the car. We towed the car the, yeah, back to our facility. Right. We waited approximately a week. We didn't hear anything. Normally somebody would try to contact us to get their contents. We didn't hear anything after a week. Then we looked at the police report and notified the mother that okay. her, it's in her name. And we right. asked her what she wants to do with the car. We explained the bill. At the time was $571. And the reason the bill is, is we have a, a contract with the police departments that we have to fill out every year with our pricing, with our storage, with our cleanup, with 
and it has to go through the police department and be okayed, you know, all the tow companies have to be on the same level. Meaning that your rate is set by the government? Set by the police departments and okay. the Okay, so the let me ask you this. What happens when you, you, so you pick up the phone and you call? At this, after we waited a week, we got her number off the police report, then we placed a call to her. Did you ever send a certified letter? Yes, we did. When do you send a certified letter? I have it right here. We have a copy of it. The certified letter we sent that was returned, as well as we have a letter that we wrote. It wasn't open, but that's the letter that's that we wrote. That's a copy of what's in the certified letter. All right, so you call her on what day? Seven, how many days later? October 18th. Yeah, the 18th we called. Okay, so that's a few days before the certified letter. And we sent the letter out just to make sure that show in for, you know, that we had tried to contact her. Right, okay, and then what happens? The letter came back. Unclaimed. Uh, unclaimed. We still have, we, we checked to see if there was any insurance on it to try to notify the insurance company. Our hands are tied. There's only liabil or, yeah, liability insurance on it. So then our hands are kind of tied. We tried what to get What did she tell you on the phone? Pretty much. I don't want it. It's I don't 99. have no money. I don't want it. It's open up to vote. It's, I, file, I can't I'm, pay that. I'm filing bankruptcy. You can keep it. You're a scam. I didn't call you. The police department called you. I'm not paying for it if I didn't call okay, you. Okay, she, she just looked shocked when you said that. Of course, she, she could be feigning shock. But did you tell yeah. me it was a scam? No. According to you, you had looked her up on Facebook. Yes, ma'am. Why? Just curious. I mean, that's that, a public thing. You have every right to. I'm just curious. That usually tells me a lot of things on people. It's social media. Sometimes people brag. Sometimes people brag about, hey, I got a DUI last night. And, ha, ha, look at this. Or he took my car and, and he's a scam. Or they write stuff. Right. I looked it up to see. And I, I try to work with people. You know, I try to, if, if she would have been honest to come in the next day and said, look, my daughter was in some trouble. Can we work something out? Can we sign a title over? I'll do that. Get your contents out. I can dispose of the car. I can't dispose of that car right now because I have to hold it in my possession because I, I don't have a title. Yeah, but you can dispose of the car because after it's abandoned for 30 days, you can dispose of the car. You the, and I both know the that. Police, she may not know that, but I know that. The police department make me wait 30 days before I right, can Right, 30 days, but you're suing for 90 days, 91 days. I still have it in my possession. Well, yeah, I know, because you didn't get rid of it in 30 days like you could have, right? We normally wait mm. 90. We work for five. I don't care if you wait right. two years. Right. You can't sue for the two years if you could have gotten out of your own way on day 30, right? We, we've had people come in after 30 days. I don't care. They right. don't have a right to it after 30. You're, you you're, can just junk it. You can do whatever you want. It right. can be out of your hair, and you don't have to store it after 30. Right. Okay, so what did you think was going to happen? That you, you know, this is all a big problem that is of your daughter's creation and that you were just going to say, ah, uh, you know. No, this, this Well, is, you didn't go pick up your car. I mean, no, you know. Correct. Did you not know where your car was? No, I didn't. All know. you have to do to know is call the police because they'll tell you. No, it's supposed to be at Jim's auto. I, no, 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 no. You don't get to pick where it goes when your daughter's arrested for a crime. The cops pick where it goes. They say, because it could be evidence in the crime. You know, for one thing, I saw the police report. I know they think she lied to the police about how the accident happened. I was out there. Because, we, say it again. I was out there. Right. They, so they called me from work. Do you know that the police think she lied to them? Because that alone is, is a crime. Yes. Separate from the other stuff that she didn't do. You're, okay. So the police pick him. They don't, you know, they're not, I mean, it'd be nice if you could direct no. where it goes. But what made you think that you were going to direct where it goes? Did you talk to them that night? No. I want right. to talk to the officer that was there. Right. He asked him, um, I said, I would like it to be told to Jim's auto because they, I don't have a title to this car. Okay. And Physically, you don't have a title. Correct. Right. Because I did a car title on, I said, I do not have a car title on to it. So okay, it, I don't know what you just said. You did a car title. What does that mean? I did a car title loan on Meaning, it back in. Do you mean you did a search? No. What do you mean? I got a loan out and they took my title to my car. Oh, so you title. physically don't have a title. Okay. Correct. And I, at the time when I picked the car up, I gave her a business card. Oh, you did? I wasn't, at the scene. I wasn't there. Because she even stated when she called, when we talked to her you, a week later. I mean, either way, it doesn't even matter to me because the truth of the matter is... Yeah, because I wasn't even there. I was just at, a second. Ma'am, ma listen to me. It behooves you to figure out what happened with your car. And all you got to do, it's all a matter <laughs> of police record, is find out. But what you can't do is just leave it there and not think there's going to be Correct. a consequence. You didn't go there because you didn't want to pay the tow fee. You didn't want the car. It's a, pe you know, it's a hoopty that you were just sick of. I asked the, um, when they called me a week later, I was like, who is this? 
and it was the lady first. Well, let me ask you a question. When the car doesn't surface at your home or hers, do, do you, do, uh, well, actually you live together. Did you not say to her, where's the car? Like, well, you were there that night, so you know the police towed it. No, my cousin called me and said, your car is over here wrecked. I think this is your car. Yeah. So I got with my boss. Me, I, I know, but husband. you're telling me things I'm not interested yeah, in. What left. I'm saying is you knew your car got towed by the police. Yeah, we went so out there. So you know where it is. No, I left then, before it got towed. He he told me I could get all the stuff out. I got all the stuff out, and he got my insurance, and I said, is um, everything okay? You know, we can go. And we left and went back to work. Okay, what did you think was going to happen with a chunk of steel that was in the middle of the road? Well, I knew that they was towing it because we tried right. to drive it. Right, and who do you think is going to have to pay for it? Yeah, I was trying to uh, drive my car, and the other guy was like, can we just, can I just leave my car here? And he was like, no, because it's leaking. We can't leave the cars out here. Of course so not. So they had to be towed. Right. But, so then, so, And I'm figuring my car stop talking and is at Jim's Auto. No, yeah, right. Here's the Until problem that me. you have. It's your car causing Correct. a problem thanks to your daughter. Correct. Right. So how is it going to be that that guy won't get paid for his services? How is that, and what planet is that fair, that that guy does a service that you're supposed to pay for and nobody pays him? The police don't pay for a tow when you have a car you're not supposed to be using because your license is suspended and your mother didn't <laughs> authorize it and you bash into a bunch of cars when you're coming home from partying. No, the government isn't going to pay for that tow. You are. So when you say, ah, I don't have any money and I'm not going to pay for it and whatever, blah, 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 and you just wash your hands of the problem, what no. do you think is going to happen? No, I try to pay them. How did you try to pay them? She was on the phone first, and I told her I didn't know it was there, so she put the guy on. He gets on, and he was like, you work at four. I need my five hundred dollars. I you said what? Say he, it again. You he work, said, I at, work Ford. at Ford. Oh, so that's why you were looking up to see if she had a job. And I said, no, I don't work at Ford. I work for Venture. He was like, well, y'all making a bunch of money. You working a bunch of overtime. So we was arguing back and forth. So I, I hung. I up. don't even see how that matters. But go so ahead. then I called back and I spoke to her and I said, well. I got 250 can I do payment plans? I said, I only got 250 She said, no. She said, unfortunately, you got to have the full amount. I said, well, I don't have the full $500. That's when I had told him, I said, I just filed bankruptcy and I don't have the full $500. But I was willing, I told him I had 250 and I could pay payments and I could have somebody come and pick it up. But they said I couldn't do it. So there was nothing else. I, I didn't have the money for it. Okay. You know, I hear you. And I'm not unsympathetic to what you're saying. If you don't have the money, you don't have the money. But sometimes a small problem becomes a big problem because we don't take out a loan to pay it or use a credit card. Um, and then you'd have the money maybe 30 days later. You'd give yourself time to have the money. Your problems are not his problems. Um, he gets paid. And but he doesn't get paid what he's suing for here today because you, of course, could have solved your storage problems by getting rid of it after the 30 days. It's an abandoned vehicle from 1999. I am ordering you to pay him the tow and the cleanup, and I'm ordering you to pay him, uh, which is what you would have paid if you'd gone to pick it up that night. That's only $255. But it turned into a much bigger problem because you left it there for the 30 days, and now there's an additional $955.55 in storage fees for a sum total of $1,210.50 for a car that's not even worth that because you ignored the problem, okay? Yeah. That's my verdict. Can I Plus your court costs. What do we do with the car? Get rid of it. Okay. It's over the 30 <laughs> days. I vote, you know, but you know that. I don't even need to say that. You know that. So the plaintiffs prevailed, they get over $1,200, and you have lost a car. Yep. And you're smiling. Why? Hey, it is what it is. That's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, that's hey. tough. Are you mad at her? No. You should be. No. Why? No. Why aren't you mad? Driving your car? Getting a wreck with it? Yeah. That's... Her child, things happen. Pardon? I'm her daughter. Things happen. Yeah, right? I know, but she could be upset I'm with you. Yeah. I was at the time it happened. No, that I'm was sure three months were. ago. Yeah. Cost you a car. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank okay. You. All right. Here comes the plaintiff now. Boy, you were suing for $3,600. You get $1,210. That's better than nothing. Yeah. Well, you learned something, though. Jeez, yes, get did. rid of these junkers. Yes, I am. After 30 days, goodbye. Yep. Right? Goodbye. Yep. Thank okay. you. Goodbye. It's been great. Very good. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Harvey? So if your car gets towed, you've got to understand this. 
you have to pick it up quickly, deal with it because these storage costs mount. And if you wait, if you delay, if you just hope it goes away, it won't and the storage costs will become insane. 